Hi everybody. If this is your first time here, I'm Steve. And my travel channel is all about taking trips down memory lane. And today I'm at uh, one of the best trips down memory lane ever for fans of the Brady Bunch TV show. Right behind me is the Brady Bunch house. It's being renovated right now. They're completely redoing the interior to look the way it does on the TV show. And later in this video, I'll share with you the final resting place of actor Robert Reed, who played the father, Mike Brady, on the TV series. Thanks for joining me on another trip down memory lane. For those of you who haven't already heard, HGTV purchased the Brady Bunch house in August 2018 and is currently giving it a makeover with the help of the original Brady kids. And if you haven't already watched the web series, you can search HGTV Brady Bunch House Makeover on YouTube. After watching the progress of the makeover online, I decided to stop by the house myself and see the progress in person. It's a little bit dark because the front of the house faces north and it's in the shade, but that's the Brady Bunch House. They're taking the interior of the house down to the studs and completely redesigning the interior layout so that it looks exactly like the set that we all remember from the TV show. The exterior was used for the for the TV show but not the interior that was done on a studio uh, studio set. Okay so it's located right here on Dilling Street and I'm right across the street from Dilling Street and Clump Avenue. You'll probably see the Clump Avenue sign right back there. And the, one of the security guards was just telling me that this is the second most photographed home in the U.S. Can you guess the first most photographed home? It's the White House. So this is only second to the White House as far as fans and, and people coming to take a picture of the house or get their uh, uh, picture taken in front of the house. Have any of you taken a selfie in front of the house? If so, email me a copy and I'll be happy to share it in a future video. And it's a very busy neighborhood. I mean, everything seems to be on, under construction here. Down the street seems to be under construction. This home is under construction. There's almost nowhere to park. I thought it would be easy to find a place to park, but there's people out walking and jogging and running and bicycling and it's a very active uh, community. And it's really just 10 minutes from downtown Hollywood. And just a few minutes west of Universal Studios. Now, if you haven't seen the web series, search YouTube for the Brady Bunch House renovation, the Brady Bunch House renovation, and you'll see, you know, all the Brady Bunch kids were here for the very first episode of the, I, I think they're only like five minute videos, they're not very long, but uh, they were here before the construction started or the renovation started, and then they've each come back individually to help with the uh, um, knocking down the walls and knocking down the fences and doing various things. So it's uh, pretty uh, cool to see the uh, Brady Bunch kids here at the house helping out with the uh, remodeling. Lots of people walking by and a couple of fans have uh, walked by already just since I've been here. So not really a big surprise. I'll pan around so you can see what the street actually looks like in real life. Now I forget which one of the kids was standing in front of the house and she said she had never been here before. She had never seen inside the house. In fact, when they all went inside the house, they were all pretty shocked because it doesn't look anything like the set that they use for the interior. I wish there were more, there was more that I could show you, but it is under construction and it's heavily guarded. And, uh, you know, they have uh, tourists and, and fans coming by all day long, every day, I think, uh, photographing and visiting and wanting to see the house. So obviously they can't do that. But uh, we'll all be able to watch it soon. Hopefully June, May or June, when the house is completed, we'll be able to see what, uh, what the results are. I'm sure it'll look fantastic. So how many of you are fans of the Brady Bunch show? How many of you watched it growing up, or maybe still watch it today? HGTV is one of my favorite channels, and House Hunters, we've been watching for the last, I think, 20 years. That's uh, one of my all-time favorite uh, reality uh, TV shows. 
So I was really glad to hear that they purchased this home and are preserving this piece of TV and pop culture history. The Brady Bunch House is located in Studio City and about 15 miles or so east is the city of Pasadena where actor Robert Reed died at the Huntington Memorial Hospital. So on my way home today from Studio City, I thought I would drive by the hospital for those of you who might like to see it. Reed was born on October 19, 1932 in Highland Park, Illinois and died May 12, 1992 at the age of 59 here at Huntington Memorial Hospital in Pasadena, California from colon cancer. And even though he's best remembered for his role as Mike Brady on The Brady Bunch from 1969 to 1974, he appeared in nearly a hundred TV shows over his very long career. Prior to The Brady Bunch, he appeared in 132 episodes of The Defenders from 1961 to 1965. Reed is buried at Memorial Park Cemetery in Skokie, Illinois, and Sherry Brandt who subscribes to this channel, sent me this video of his final resting place. And even though it was a very cold winter day, Sherry took the time to do a pan from his gravesite so we could all see a little bit more of the cemetery. And if you'd also like to see my visit to Florence Henderson's final resting place, I'll put a link down below this video. Visiting Reed's final resting place has always been high on my bucket list, but I wasn't sure if or when I would be getting back to the Chicago area, so I was really happy to receive Sherry's email the other day. I wonder if any of the other Brady Bunch cast members attended his funeral, or if any of them have been here to visit his gravesite. Do any of you happen to know? Another famous person buried in the cemetery is actress Elaine Stritch, and Sherry also sent me a video of her grave as well. Emmy and Tony Award-winning actress Elaine Stritch appeared in movies, TV, and on stage, but she's probably best remembered for her work on Broadway. She was born February 2, 1925, in Detroit, Michigan, and died July 17, 2014, in Birmingham, Michigan, at the age of 89. So thanks so much, Sherry, for taking the time to email me these videos from your recent trip to your local cemetery. And I'd also like to give a shout out to my most recent Patreon members, Donna Cox, Petta Green, Thomas Tanaka, and Todd Schmidt. Thank you all for your support. And if you signed up for a postcard and included your address, your postcard will be in the mail soon. And if any of you watching would also like to receive a postcard from me from one of my destinations, I'll include a link down below to my new Patreon page with details on how you can sign up. So until next time, thanks for sharing the memories, everyone.